Well, welcome back to Women's Basketball Media Day. Here in San Francisco Pac-12 Networks, they had to say goodbye to Talia Walton, but the other two members of the Three Amigos that led the Huskies to their first ever Final Four last year are back. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for us, Roz, but they are also in the studio with us. Kelsey Plum, Chantel Osohor, welcome to San Francisco, you two. What a ride it was. We were hooting and hollering. We already had your coach on. Just how exciting that was. Kelsey, what was that Final Four run like for you? I mean, what an opportunity. We got to burst on the national scene. Um, you know, we've been talking about Chantel's video went viral mm -hmm. like a million, million times. Mm -hmm. um, but it was, it was, to be honest, it was just an amazing experience. We got to learn from each other. We got to bond. And we're definitely taking that into this season. Chantel, what was your favorite memory from it all? Was it the viral videos or was it something else? <laughs> I heard you've been recognized in airports. They can't even walk anywhere with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah, but my favorite part was just being with my team and just experiencing that with my team. Um, it, it was something that I'll never forget, and it's because of them. You know, I remember final going to a Final Four, and people don't know all of the extraness that is there besides the game. I mean, mm -hmm. there's commercials you have to shoot, there's gift bags, there's signings. How did you guys make sure not to get lost in all of the circus and try to stay focused on the game? Or was that hard to do? Well, to be honest, I think I did get a little bit lost in the circus personally. Uh, when we finally, you know, tipped off, it was almost like this, it just hit me, like mm -hmm. full, full speed, right? Everything just caught up. Um, and, you know, we didn't show our best game. But I think I had to step back after the journey and realize, like, how cool mm -hmm. was that run? No one expected that. It was 0.02%. And to be honest, um, when you believe in something and you go after it, you can really do it. And that's what I took away from it. And talking about believing in something, Kelsey, um, I know you were already good coming out of high school. You had a lot of top schools also recruiting you, but you chose to maybe not go with one with the biggest pedigree. You decided to go trust UW and build something there, and then you helped take the team to a Final Four. I mean, that's outstanding. Um, what, how fulfilling is it to, to realize that dream? I think the fulfillment, though, comes within the fact that we did it together. Mm -hmm. um, and that was the reason that run happened, because we did it together. We were a unit, and the coolest part is people still coming up to us in the airport, in Seattle. Man, I was just inspired by your guys' unity, the way you guys treated each other, the way you guys act with each other. Um, I think that team camaraderie speaks for itself, and that's what's the most fulfilling about it, for sure. Chantel, we got to talk about that three-point shot <laughs> and the fact that it went viral. It is such a pretty, weird, awesome, incredible shot. When did it develop? How did you start? I, to be honest, I, I always, like, I've always shot like that I, since I can remember. So, something none of the coaches I've had have changed. I'm glad they didn't change it. It, it is unique. It is weird, but it goes in. <laughs> right. And that's all that matters, right? You know? That's right. You can't, you can't hate on it. But it, you're much more than just uh, an unorthodox three-point shot. The versatility, the playmaking, the vision you have, and just being a rebounding monster in there. How did things start to click for you within this program? Um, I'd probably say maybe by like the end of my sophomore year, stuff started clicking for me. And then uh, preseason junior year, playing pretty well. And just my teammates, our chemistry together, they just always had confidence in me. So it was, it was more of just like a team thing. You lost a lot into Leah Walton, oh, yeah. right? Because this is a team that just went to the Final Four, and yet preseason, you're picked number three in the Pac-12 poll. You did lose a lot there. Who else is ready to make a jump? We have uh, five new incoming kids, uh, one transfer, four freshmen, and we're excited about the talent we have. We have enough talent to do things, and people questioned that last year, and we still did it. So I don't think it's necessarily about talent. It's about putting the pieces together. So that's kind of our job as leaders, um, you know, as competitors. We can get feisty sometimes, but at the end of the day, roll it back together and be able to be a competitive family. You like having a chip on your shoulder. <laughs> Dang right I do. <laughs> Chantel, Kelsey. Got one too. Thank you. Oh, we know. It's, a, it's a, just a little quieter of a chip, right? A little quieter of a chip. Thank you, too. Looking forward to the season in Seattle. Coming up next, the head coach of one of the defending co-champions here in the Pac-12 Conference, who also just happens to be the coach of one of the top ten recruiting classes in the country.